I'm going to keep this video shorter than the other ones because I just want to show you where to get other features. So students ask me where I got things like the flat screen TV and the TV stand and stuff that normally doesn't show up here in this uh, little drop down box. And the way to get those items, uh, normally when you come in you click on component, you say place a component, you have the option to model a new component that doesn't exist yet. You also have the option to load a family. So there's things that Revit has that are not currently in your project. So for example, if you go under casework, you can find all different kinds of base cabinets. These are things that go on the lower half of the wall. You can find your countertops. So this would go on top of your base cabinets. They have some with sinkholes, some without. You have shelving, and this is uh, like a closet shelf with a pole to hang clothes up on. You have your tall cabinets. They're still on the ground, but they go all the way up, well, much higher at least, maybe not all the way to the ceiling. And you have wall cabinets that hang directly off the wall. If you look under your furniture, Here's where you have different mirrors. You have a TV and a TV stand. Uh, if you go under tables, you have different kinds of tables with coffee tables and dining room tables. You have different bed types. You have different seating options. So there's lots of things that are here inside of your uh, what is this called? Your families, when you click load family. Let's say that we do want to open up something like a bed. So let's go back under furniture. Let's grab one of these beds in here. There's a shaker bed. You can open this up. We go to place this somewhere, and we'll place it outside the house for now so it doesn't mess with anything that I'm going to use for later. Nope, it doesn't like that. We'll put it back inside the view. I can double click on this bed. That opens it up in a new view. And I can choose to double click on something like this. And I can actually edit what this looks like and how tall it is and how these are spaced out. If I wanted to, I can come into the, uh, let me get out of here, so I'll click the OK button. It's now modified what the back, what the headboard of this bed looks like. I can click on the actual bed itself, and I can choose to make this wider or skinnier. and all of these things that I'm doing to change it these are going to be affected in the finish model looks like they have some special constraints on here alright let's say I like it like that I can load it into the project I don't want to overwrite the existing version I guess I do want to overwrite the existing version. So now I want to go to click on it. This is what it looks like. Exit back out of here. I can also click on this and say edit type. And there you see the preview of it. Looks much different than uh, what this is actually displaying. If I click edit type, I can modify the dimensions here. Instead of it being 6 foot 6 inches, I can make this 8 feet. And you see that just got longer. So you can take things that already exist, like a dining room table or whatever it might be, and change those. I'm going to actually go back and undo all of this.
so that I don't uh, actually mess anything up. Alrighty. Now, let me show you one other thing. Uh, let's open up a new Chrome tab. Do I not have Chrome on my start bar? That's weird. And I want you to search for Revit City. This is something where you're going to have to join first. So your desired username, whatever you think that should be, email address, And as soon as you sign up, it should email you your password. I'm going to pause the video mode. Alright, so after you get the chance to get it out of your email, put in the random password that it gives you, set a new password. Now you can go under uh, downloads. You can search for things. Like if I want to search for a certain table, type in the word table. Search. And let's say I find something that I really like, like this octagonal picnic table I can click on that get a closer look of it yep looks pretty cool I want that outside my house so I can click the download now button and this will bring it to your um, let's see here let's show this in the folder this will actually put it in your downloads folder so you want to copy that go into your file instead and as long as you put this somewhere where you know where it is so I think I have a folder just called Revit somewhere I can paste this picnic table in my Revit folder and when I go back into my Revit if I want to go architecture component and load family instead of looking here under US Imperial I can look under my computer I can find my name I find the folder that I put it in Revit and there's the picnic table I click the picnic table and say open and because it's made in a different version of Revit it has to update as soon as that's done updating you can place this anywhere inside or outside of your house. And there it is. It's as easy as that. So when you're looking to customize things, you may consider finding some different options of things that you might like on Revit City or searching through the load family button and uh, see if there's anything that would be appropriate for your project.